You guys, I always do this. I always want to tell y'all everything when I get in the freaking car, but today it is raining, so I hope I'm not like screaming. I hope you guys can hear me. But good morning. It is Monday, like 11 o'clock, 11 30, something like that. Headed to Atlanta. I was just listening to John B. And I felt like I, I need to mention this. Like, just in case nobody else knows. That man is white. I found this out, like, about a month ago on Instagram. And I was shook. Apparently, me and, like, three-fourths of the black community always thought that John B. was a light-skinned black man. And he is a white man. But, um. Okay, that has nothing to do with this vlog, but I just wanted to mention because I was just listening to him. Yeah, I'm headed to Atlanta. And that is because I'm going to the airport and we're gonna be going to St. Louis today. Woo! I did have to go get tested as you guys saw. My test came back negative, so that's good. It literally took, it didn't even take an hour. I think like 30 minutes later, they had sent me my results. And like, I was concerned a little bit because I don't know if you guys know, but I always get headaches and my headaches were really bad this week and I've had the virus before. When I had the virus, my headaches were extra, extra bad. And so yeah, my headaches were really bad this week. And even though I've been vaccinated, I'm like, oh, like, do I have the virus? But I wasn't, I just had bad headaches. But the craziest thing, well, it's not the craziest thing, but it was just like, wow, this is really happening. I pulled up to the drive-thru and I was waiting like behind two cars to uh, get my swab or whatever. And I was looking at my license and I just something just told me like look at the expiration date. And oh my gosh, it literally had today's date on it for expiration. Y'all, my license is entirely expired today. So that's lovely. Um yeah, first, you know, that concerned me because I have to go uh, get on a plane and you know the airport's very finicky about everything and so basically I just brought my passport for backup um, because my dad said that would for sure work like a passport is like legit identification and my passport has some years on it so you know I don't have to worry about that being expired but yeah it's not like a for fun type of trip it is for business type of trip if you guys saw the thumbnail you guys already know what's happening but yeah everybody told me everybody's been telling me my entire life actually you need to model like if i had a dollar for every time somebody told me i need to model i at least would have like a hundred thousand dollars like seriously like since i was a kid i'll get more into it later because i'm driving but i'll kind of give you the gist of it now like why i'm going today but yeah i basically got booked for my first like legit modeling gig i don't mean like somebody's living room like makeup artist hair and makeup even though i hope they don't touch my hair <laughs> um all of that all of that like i'm official y'all it's crazy the first time I'm getting on a flight by myself I'm not really nervous about that I'm nervous about the modeling thing but yeah I won't be here long I'll only be here like really a day and a half but I may have some time to do some extra things but I will see you guys when I get to in that time we're at five below because I need a neck pillow I already have two at home but I managed to forget um both of them and so now i'm about on my way to buy my third neck pillow so we can find this but we can't find a neck pillow what is the sauna suit this is just dumb well I just made it to St. Louis. So I'm waiting on my aunt out here with my little carry-on. It's like 6.45. So it's not too late, but I definitely can use some food. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. I look like a crazy person. Yeah, just waiting her, on her to pick me up. And I'm yowdy. So I'm back at the 
hotel. Well, technically this isn't my hotel. This is where my aunt is staying. That's why I'm whispering because I don't want to be loud. She's asleep. But I did have my own hotel, but I only have it for one night and I'm staying two nights. And basically if I was to stay in it tonight and then go to my shoot tomorrow, I'd have to take all my luggage. And that's kind of embarrassing because of course I'd have to check out before the time I'm gonna be back from the shoot. So I wouldn't have had anywhere to leave my luggage. So if I just stay here, I can leave all my stuff here. I didn't have to pay for the hotel, so. I mean, it's not my money, but it's just more convenient for me. Yeah, so that's why you guys see like a whole bunch of stuff. She doesn't live in a hotel, but it like has to do with her job. So that's why she's here. But fortunate for me because I didn't have to ride home or ride here with some creepy Uber driver and lots of things. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna do a few things before I go to bed, but tomorrow's the big day, you guys. Den of Vipers here. So I'm almost to the half point in it. It's a really good book. But proceed with caution. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Like literally go look up what it's about and then proceed with caution. back to sleep it's like 8 and then I have to be there at 10 30 I don't know if I want to take an uber or if I want to drive my aunt's truck because it's really big uber is like $30 so that would be like $30 there and back and then also it's an uber so I don't know them so the sketch I do put like a little scarf over my pillow because I don't bring like a silk pillowcase I mean you could pack that but I just bring a scarf that way I don't have to sleep directly on like cotton pillows because my mane will not agree with that but yeah you guys this is something like if you would have told me like a year ago Jordan you're gonna be modeling in St. Louis for like a brand that you know like you guys this is like a brand y'all know this brand like I would have been like I don't know why you is lying to me right now <laughs> Because y'all, a year ago, I was, you know, teaching. This is something I've literally wanted to do since I was like six years old. Like I actually, uh, this is embarrassing, but I actually um, did kind of like a little modeling tryout thing. Like it's not one of those legit ones, but when I was like in fourth or fifth grade, I don't know what possessed me because I was a quiet kid. But when it came to stuff like that, like I wasn't quiet because I knew what I wanted to do. And so like I begged my mom to take me to the freaking ball for those little fashion jets. And of course, you know, they give it to everybody. I got it. But my mom was like not trusting it and whatnot, which I don't blame her. That was sketchy, Hello. like oh, hold on. Hello? Hey. Hi. Oh. Alright, so that was my aunt. So I may not have the Uber. She's gonna like bring me her truck. But that means I gotta be ready in like 15 minutes. But anyways, you guys, 
yeah like i don't mean to make this like a little sap story but i was just trying to tell y'all like how long i've wanted to model i mean i feel like most kids want to do that when they're younger so you know, there was a certain point in my life pretty early on maybe like 11 or 12 where i realized or where i thought i realized you know jordan you're never gonna do that like that's like a one in a million chance everybody doesn't get to do it you live in alabama like nobody ain't nobody checking for you so which is true ain't nobody checking for me back home um my management is actually based in chicago i honestly gave up on trying to be a model i think when i was in college probably about my junior senior year i used to say like freshman year of college like oh you know i can do it later on like after college but then i was like you know why would i waste my time doing that if i have a job i, w I like, went to work i mean not work i went to school to get this job so I'm just gonna do that but here I am today actually doing it and ugh, I'm not gonna cap y'all I haven't brushed my teeth yet I didn't sign with management from modeling when I signed with management I had already given up in my mind on the whole modeling thing basically I signed with management because of like you know the influencing thing like and all of that because I hate dealing with emails and all that I guess when I signed man with management for that they kind of went ahead and just put me into modeling as well and so here i am today i wish i could take y'all with me i don't think they're gonna let me like obviously film inside that would be a professional it's already embarrassing on a regular day so it would be like super embarrassing like on a filming in the studio when everybody trying to work and you getting paid by the hour type of thing well not really by the hour but you know you on their time so yeah let me go get ready supposed to show up with no makeup on but i'm just gonna pack some just in case i don't know i may go somewhere afterwards <laughs> i'm assuming maybe my face will already be done so basically we have to have nude underwear and a nude bra on it's like a requirement and so like the day before my flight i went shopping for like that because i don't wear bras like i mentioned that before i don't wear bras i have not bought a bra like this kind of bra i've not bought one of these in years and I had to buy one the other day. And I had the toughest time finding an A cup. Like, apparently small boobs don't exist anymore. Or maybe we've all realized we're not wearing bras anymore. I don't know. And then I got some new underwear to wear because I don't know if they're gonna see me in my underwear, but if they are, I don't want it to be nude underwear I already own. I don't know if that's weird, but I'm really hoping they don't have to see me in them because I could only find a thong. And so my cheeks gonna be out. So I'm hoping this is like a personal changing situation. I don't know, because I've never done this. You guys, I'm here. Yeah, I'm just parked and hopefully I can park right here. I'm not even sure. We'll know when I come back out and the truck is still here. My hands are ashy. Y'all, I didn't bring any lotion. Let's see what this park, park is looking like. I'm like on the line. That's that's close enough. We'll take it. But y'all, I'm still nervous. My my heart is in my butt right now. I kind of want to see like what kind of thrift stores are around here since I do have my aunt's truck. And like she doesn't get off till 3 and I'm supposed to finish at like 12. you guys the actual like where we were we were like in that area behind the big orange thing they had like so many lights and stuff lights i guess to like soften the light 
when I tell you the ones that I use are like the size of this window and those are obviously giant it's crazy all right so I'm back in the car it is so hot today you guys and <laughs> with the outfit that I had to wear hold on why am I so zoomed in oh I always do that to y'all but y'all the outfit that I had to wear oh my gosh I had on a winter outfit and it was hot outside three layers a sweater dress a flannel and a coat <laughs> And it was so hot. Like it was crazy. And then I've got like fake snow around me. So it, lo it looks like it's cold, but it's really freaking hot. They actually let me keep some of the clothes. So I have the flannel on now. Just because what I brought was really hot. Like, cause it was cooler earlier. And so I just wanted to be able to wear my bra top. I gotta pick up my aunt at 3.30 from her job. So I'll probably just spend like an hour wherever I'm at. There's only so much you can do by yourself. So, I found the store. First of all, it's so cute. Like, the windows, they have the most amazing vintage dresses in them. It looks like it's gonna be really expensive. <laughs> Basically, I'm just trying to park. And there is an open space, like, right behind me, but I don't know if I can do it, so. And it looks like there's so much room, but I just know as soon as I move, I'm gonna be stuck. Y'all, I'm so bad at parallel parking. Oh my gosh. Later. Ryan Little. <laughs> I just left out of there. I'm feeling kind of like homeless right now because I'm like aimlessly here. Let me see what stores are around me. Cause I paid for an hour to park, but I don't, I don't really know what's around me. But I did find something. It's so cute. I'll show you guys when I get to the hotel and like show y'all like how I intend to wear it. But it was a really good deal. Very cute. If you guys ever are around here, you should definitely come here. They had some other cute stuff, but I was like, I'm not gonna wear it like probably more than once. So, if that, so I just left it there. All right, so I just got back to the hotel. I was not even trying to go there. I was trying to go to where my aunt's job is, but the location took me back to the hotel. And I guess, that was God just taking me where I needed to be because I had to go. I feel a lot better. I changed a little bit just in case we go eat. We probably will end up coming back here first, but even still, it was hot in my outfit. I had on like all black, so this is a lot more comfy. Hello, you guys. So it is it's like 10 o'clock central time. I'm really tired because back home it's like 11 but also it was kind of an early day but kind of a long day. I'll tell y'all about the shoot more when I get in the bed but right now I just want to get in the shower. But I did say I was going to show you guys um I was going to show you guys what I got from the vintage shop. I've been looking for this for a little minute now. They are very expensive if you find them like on Depop or Etsy or something like $150-$200. First of all, so cute corset top. It doesn't have any padding in the bra, which I actually like. And it looks like it can fit me. I don't know, it might be tight. Might need to be. It was perfect, it was put there for me. I'm convinced. They were selling it separately, but it wasn't a big deal because this piece was $16. It had the cutest little tags rescued with love from portland it tells you where it came from so this came from portland this is this tag and this is this one very similar this one looks like it's a little older but yeah so this is a girdle 
And basically, I'm not gonna wear it like how girdles are supposed to be worn. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. So my plan is to put like this on top of like a white button down. And so basically it'll be like my corset kind of thing, like on top of white button down. And then I'm gonna let the tassels hang. But yeah, it just doesn't look good with this black bra and these jeans, but y'all gotta understand the vision, okay? I hope y'all get the vision. So my boobs aren't even big enough to fit this. I honestly stuffed this one a little bit, okay? Like the bag is so nice, so cute. up having to move if I wanted to talk to you guys but just got my pizza because I'm starving I don't even know how I'm awake right now probably because I'm hungry even though I ate earlier <sighs> I don't want to say that things happened that I didn't expect I didn't realize you would be such the center of attention with modeling and I know that sounds dumb well let me put it this way I didn't think it would be to this extent like when I was shooting, there's like 20 people just in the area I'm in. There's like 20 people helping all get this one picture. And you know, me as an Instagram and YouTube creator, I'm not used to there being more than me or maybe like a bonus person helping me shoot. So instead of me putting my makeup on, getting my own hair ready, setting up my tripod, setting up my lights, so many people like, just so many different jobs that I didn't expect to be like I don't know how else to explain it it was just a lot there was this point where we were waiting to go to lunch but we had to finish my shoot first I was kind of the person like it came down to like if we don't get the shot nobody goes to lunch type of thing you know and it wasn't like they didn't put any pressure on me or anything like they were absolutely amazing like the crew was they made me feel so comfortable but it, when you really think about it, like I had, I thought to myself and I was like, hmm, if I don't get good shots, <laughs> these people don't eat, you know. It will be a lot harder for me to be embarrassed to take pictures in front of somebody because I just let like 20 people watch me fake laugh <laughs> in pictures today, like over and over for 30 minutes. It doesn't get more awkward than that. I feel like I might as well go ahead and start trying to get into acting at this point. Not really. I did tell you that I have always wanted to model. But I didn't tell you why I didn't. I did tell you that I was in school at one point, like college, so I wasn't trying to focus on that then. But yeah, I've wanted to do it since I was a kid, but my mom wasn't really into the idea because she didn't want me to grow up like, not like a child star, but like, you know, children that get in entertainment and things like that. And even modeling, often get exploited and grow up to have eating disorders and whatnot. Clearly, I don't have a problem eating, but that's just the benefit of me coming into it when I did. Like, probably just a year or two ago, girls were probably being shamed for, you know, eating pizza and stuff like that. And I'm sure it still happens, but it's definitely more frowned upon nowadays to, like, starve yourself to be a model and stuff. Like, it's not, like, an expectation so much as it used to be, like, with how it was when I was growing up wanting to do it. If I would have done it years ago, they probably would have been really strict on my measurements and I would have had to eat a certain way just to get my waist to be this small but my hips not to be this big or something like that. Something crazy. I just feel very blessed and I am thankful that my mom did wait so that didn't affect me because now I feel like I have a pretty good head on my shoulders at this point. But when I was younger, I think I could have easily been affected by like the negatives of that life. I'm sorry that I didn't get to take you guys like on the actual shoot, but like that's considered like unprofessional. Maybe one day in the future, but yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned, I'm going to New York soon. I'm excited. Love y'all. Good night.